The Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rohirrim will soon launch first preview. And masses of anime fans are going to have nosebleed. Yes, hal, mean friend, and welcome to another video. Oh, my dear friends, I know, I know that many of you have been looking forward to this kind of news. Although, if you've been following my channel for quite some time, you know that uh, it is not so in my case. Now, of course, we are all entitled to our own opinions and so on and so forth, yada, yada, yada. You know that I'm not really into adaptations and prequel, sequel, spin-offs, rip-offs, and especially in the last 10, 10 years or so. When we know that uh, nothing is really the way we imagine, it has never been the way we imagine. Now, there are people who have many a gripe with uh, Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy, and uh, I don't really have to go into depth uh, in this video. There are many, many, many videos on Tolkien, on the Lord of the Rings adaptations, on the not adaptations like the, uh, the Rings of Power on my channel, so feel free to go and check them out. What I am doing here is I'm just reporting on a, a snippet of information concerning the War of the Rohirrim that will soon launch its first preview, as comicbook.com are writing. Ah, uh, well, I have to say here that do we really need it? Now, yes, I know, I know. This news came out at around the time the Rings of Power was coming out, and uh, many people have welcomed this uh, this news as a... Uh, what, a ray of hope uh, for something better, for more, more talking content that would be good, actually, because it's an anime. Now, listen to yourselves. Now, how how can you possibly think so? I mean, I mean it, could, it can be good and it can be bad. I don't know at this point. Nothing has come out uh, except for, like, one poster that didn't really show much. So, uh, you know, uh, I would use uh, the sentence that many people are using, which quite honestly is getting on my nerves lately. Uh, I, I am cautiously optimistic. So you should be cautiously optimistic if you want to be optimistic. So be at least cautiously optimistic. I shall be uh, pessimistic because I am your dear old European law. However, what uh, comicbook.com are writing is... Are you ready to see the world of Middle Earth like never before? Ah, well, that has been here before, this this kind of statement. If so, you should be keeping tabs on The Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rohirrim. The movie promises to act as a prequel to the live-action films we all know and love. Announced a couple of years back, the team behind The War of the Rohirrim has kept its head down at work, but it seems we will get a first look at the movie soon. And how do we know that? Well, the group behind NSC Festi Film Festival just confirmed as much. Warner Brothers Discovery will bring its animated slate to the event, and it is there the War of the Rohirrim sh will share its first preview. Now, The War of the Rohirrim, my dear friends, shall be uh, yet another prequel to The Lord of the Rings. It is going to be talking, I mean, uh, you are telling the story about the, of uh, Helm Hammerhand, uh, the uh, legendary hero of the uh, Rohirrim past. Um, after whom the Helm's Deep was named, uh, and uh, it, apparently this is going to be uh, narrated uh, by Miranda Otto, who is going to reprise her role as Erwin, in this case, telling a story to somebody, probably to the audience, right? And uh, one thing, uh, there's, I mean, the, the, there's a thing that uh, is coming up my mind all the time. It's, it's, it's a small thing, but what can you expect from a, a book aficionado? From a man who has devoted uh, like a huge part of his life and uh, not only personal but also academic life to Tolkien. There is a character, uh, I think it's going to be Helm's daughter, who remains unnamed in uh, the source material. So they naturally they had to name her because they are going to make her, I suppose, the protagonist of the film because, yeah, I mean, she's a woman. And uh, they're going to name her Hera. Now... I know what they're trying to do, Helm, Hera, so on and so forth. Uh, we know that uh, as far as naming goes, the Rohirrim, and uh, after all, Anglo-Saxons as well, upon which the Rohirrim were based, uh, very, really liked and enjoyed alliteration, not only in poetry, but, uh, you know, as a nice poetic, um, uh, well, 
or ornament as far as the naming goes. But could you choose just something that is Anglo-Saxon? I mean, something that is Old English. And Hera is quite clearly a Greek name. Uh, what about Helga? That would be much better. All right then. But that's 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 the only gripe that I you know like just just keeps popping up my mind. Like like just little nitpicking voice right there. All right, let us continue. Currently, there is no date for the preview set, but Warner Brothers Discovery did confirm the movie will appear at NSC Festival along with the Rick and Morty panel. Oh, the guy who made Rick and Morty was cancelled lately, was he? Huh. The 2023 International Festival is slated to being on June the 11th this year and run through June the 17th. The event will highlight animated content from across the globe and uh, the Lord of the Rings will partake with its very first anime. Now, that's another thing. <laughs> I mean, anime is extremely popular today. I mean, very much. Now, it's going. It's it's becoming more popular than uh, any other kind of um, animation from all around the world. And the, 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 the same thing can be said about manga. That the Manga absolutely destroys any other uh, type of comic book, like the American comic books, for example. But at least in my mind, for me, it just, an anime, it doesn't go with Tolkien at all, like at all. And yes, I know, I know, some of you might mention uh, the Vinland saga, which is a manga. It, has it already been made into anime? I, I don't even know, might have been. Well, I think it, it has. Um, about Vikings, so quite clearly um, taking... Oh, it, European history material, Norse uh, stories, and uh, you know interpreting them uh, through the uh, manga and anime eyes, but still, it just doesn't. In me, it just, it just doesn't compute. I just, I just, ah, I just can't imagine it being really fitting for me. All right, well, let, let us continue. If you are not familiar with the Ro War of the Rohirrim, you should know the project has been in de development since June twenty twenty one at minimum. The project has brought in Kenji Kamiyama to act as a director while writers Phoebe Gittins and Artie Papa Joju do the script. Uh, the New Line Cinema is producing the project with Solar Entertainment and Warner Brothers Animation. At present, the film is slated to debut on April the 12th, 2024. As for its story, the Lord of the Rings prequel is set over 180 years before the events of the Two Towers. The War of the Rohirrim will tell the story of Helm Hamhander, the heralded king of Rohan, who defended humanity against the army of the Dunlendings. The king went down in history because of their stronghold. Helm's Deep and Brian Cox has been cast to voice the legendary characters. Other actors have also been added to the cast, including Miranda Otter, as I said, Luke Pasquilano, I'm butchering your name, sorry, and Gaia Wise, and so on and so forth. All right, then. So, do I really need to say more? I think that I have said everything I wanted and needed to say throughout this video. But what I want you to do, my dear friends, is tell me what you think about all this. Are you looking forward to it? Are you cautiously optimistic, or are you pessimistic, or are you just nah, indifferent? All right, then. That will be all. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm out of here.